You could sing Rain, Rain, Go Away, but for farmer John Curlin, it's more than a nursery rhyme. There are real crops under all that water, adding up real loss. Leaves should be all green, very green, and they, you can tell the damage there is not good. Curlin's owned his farm for 37 years. You know, these beans are going to be okay, they're going to make it. And has never seen a wet summer like this. I'm only 65. I've talked to farmers who are much older than me. No one can ever remember a year this bad. Uh, we had a year in 1981 where it rained a lot up to about the first part or last part of June, but then it stopped. Curlin says rain averages for June usually fall around five inches. This year, he says it's around 22. It used to be an old saying, knee high by the 4th of July be a good corn. Right now, he notice it's hardly even knee high. And the crops are showing it. The corn, if a 50% crop comes off it, in this area, is going to be pretty lucky. But as much water as you see in the fields, it's a little easier to comprehend when you come out to places like Mississinawa Lake. The Indiana Department of Natural Resources showed us just how record-breaking the flooding is at this favorite camping location. That is our bathroom. There's a shelter behind it that's completely underwater. And even the camp store that usually stands far above the waters. It's come up quite a bit. Is almost completely submerged. The past week it's steadily gone up half a foot a day, some days more, um, which is pretty impressive. Since it hasn't rained that much lately, it's still coming up and we're still seeing a lot of, a lot of the effects of it. While many are sad about a popular campground underwater, DNR says the water could be in the streets of nearby towns like Peoria and Peru if it weren't for this flood control area. This reservoir along with Salamone and Roush, all those reservoirs are the upper Mississinawa flood control um, and they directly affect the city of Louisville actually. So if they were all to release right now, it would, it would do some major destruction to the cities on the way and then it would actually flood the city of Louisville, Kentucky. Now everyone waits for this record-breaking weather to come to an end. And while DNR hopes to never see the Mississinawa Lake this high ever again, John Curlin and the rest of the farmers hope the same for their fields. A year like this is a tremendous, there was just an oddity, probably never going to happen again, we hope. So you just tuck your belt in and, and try and survive and continue on.